Hi guys, my name is Greena Gemscott and welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons. This is a brand new series on the channel and kind of a, well not a brand new game, but I haven't played Sims 4 for a, a long time, even just for myself and definitely on the channel I haven't done any Sims 4. But when this Seasons expansion pack, I saw that this was coming out, it's just dropped today. When I saw this was coming out, I thought I feel like this could drag me back into The Sims 4. And it has done. I've just purchased it and it looks absolutely amazing. So let's just have a look at this screen. So welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons. Experience impactful weather. From hot and sunny to blustery and snowy, every world's climate is unique and impacts your sim's choices, relationships and daily activities. Revel in seasonal activities. Bundle up to build a snow pal with friends. Toss on a raincoat to splash in a spring shower. Dress sims in new swimwear to cool off in the sprinklers. Harvest honey in the fall. Play in the leaves. Oh my goodness, or have child sims make homemade holiday crafts. This sounds amazing. Celebrate the holidays, decorate your home and bring sims together to celebrate heartfelt holiday traditions. Watch as your sims count down the calendar days for the next holiday. You can even create custom holidays and choose your own sims. Choose how your sims celebrate. Grow your gardening career. This is something I'm looking forward to. I don't know a huge amount about it because I do try and stay away from like people who get um, information beforehand. I try to not to watch those videos because I like to kind of see it all for myself firsthand. So I don't, I haven't seen too much about it. Although I do kind of like follow them on Twitter and I'm constantly seeing screenshots of things. I'm like, oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Um, but grow your uh, grow your gardening career. This is definitely something that I would like to do. Create beautiful bouquets and unearth new discoveries in the gardening career. Advance your sim's budding talents to unlock fresh skills, new outfits and handy objects. So there are obviously four seasons. You can choose which one you choose to start your game in. So we've obviously got uh, spring. Look at this. This is absolutely adorable. Spring, summer, autumn or fall. Uh, and oh, look at that and winter i think what i might start with is autumn i don't know i, I kind of oh yeah let's start with i feel like i've seen a lot of people posting like yesterday on youtube and on twitter i see like most people are starting in autumn so sh maybe we should go for something different maybe we should start in spring maybe let's let you know what let's start in spring because that's like the first one here. Let's let's go ahead and start in spring. Right, so here is where we choose which one we want to go with. So we've got spring. Spring is a great time to plant your garden to take advantage of spring flowers. But watch out for those mud puddles. And we have summer. Temperatures are climbing, so beat the temp beat the heat with water balloons and sprinklers. Watch out for thunderstorms. They can be electrifying. And fall gather your garden produce to make a harvest fest feast to celebrate with friends and family enjoy the changing leaves and leaf piles before things get chilly and winter when you're not bundled up indoors have some fun in the snow or on the ice don't forget to decorate for winter fest and plan your new year's resolutions i'm pretty sure that sims can die from being outside in the winter if they're not wrapped up enough i think that's something that i've seen over on twitter but do you know what i'm gonna start with spring because I want to take advantage of the, the gardening hobby. So let's go with spring. Select a season. Spring. All the beautiful flowers that we're going to grow. So I'm going to be playing seasons in Brindleton Bay. Which is a world that came with the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. Which I bought yesterday. There was a sale on. I was like, if I'm going to do seasons. I'm going to play Sims 4 again. I want some cats and dogs in my life so i got a uh, cats and dogs uh, yesterday i haven't even sort of touched it so i will be looking at some different things to do with cats and dogs that i've not seen before but obviously we're going to focus on seasons for this let's go and take a look at the family that we're going to use you can see them down below in the bottom left okay so you can see our first sim it's gonna be me uh -huh. it's sarah greenoid and i figured because i hadn't played the sims for so long i kind of just wanted to do my little real life family so we've got sarah greenoid here and i'm gonna be a freelance 
botanist which she's very interested or i am very interested she is very interested in growing plants and become an expert gardener because i want to really have a little look at the whole gardening situation that's going on with seasons so i figured that was a good one to do i am active i am a cat lover and I love the outdoors. That is Sarah Greenoid. Let's just take a little look at her clothes. I haven't actually looked at ah. the clothes that we have gotten with um, with seasons. Maybe I might want to get changed actually because oh wow, look at these outfits. Okay, maybe we. Oh, I was gonna say maybe I should take a little look at them all, but oh, maybe I'm gonna get changed. Hang on, I'm gonna get changed. Right, <laughs> I love this dress. I'm gonna wear this, I think. Let's have a little look. Oh, no, we can't get it in different colors. Oh, what season are we in? We're in spring. Do you think this is a suitable spring outfit? Mm -hmm. There's some awesome things. Let me just click through and have a look. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, <laughs> that's a nice sort of summer dress. Whoa, we've got an Easter bunny. That's insane. Okay, oh, these are some nice... Oh, I like that. I'm not going to go through and look at all that. Whoa, we can be a gnome. That's insane. <laughs> okay. We've got like a few raincoats and things. That will be useful. Spring is rainy, right? Maybe we should have... Okay, so I'm going to change her everyday outfits, actually. I'm going to put this one on. And then she also had this one. I'm going to change into like a rainy day outfit, I think. What colour do we like? Maybe this one? Oh, no, I don't like that, actually. I think I like this. No, I don't like that. Maybe I just like the first one. I don't like the spots on it. I like that. That's not very springy. That's more, like, autumn-y, right? That's nice. I like that. Okay, so that's going to be her everyday outfit. And then... But the first one is the one I like the best. That's really pretty. And then we've got the uh, formal outfit there. We should look. Should we look at tops and things and everything? No, I'm not going to look at them, but we'll just maybe look at them. If you want to see all the Creator Sim stuff from Seasons, I'm sure there's tons of videos on YouTube. You can go ahead and watch them. But here is my uh, formal outfit. Here is my athletic. And then we've got uh, sleepwear, party outfit, uh, and swimwear. And then also with Seasons, we get this hot and cold weather clothes, which are amazing uh let me just see what co does come with seasons let's have a little look seasons um oh maybe i might change this top actually oh yeah i like that i might just yeah i'm gonna stick with that color so this is her hot weather clothes and her cold weather clothes is this but i think i'm gonna change this as well i'm gonna stick whoa that's ah. bright. I'm not a fan of um, orange in general. Maybe I preferred what she had on, actually. Let, what's, let me see what this is. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, there we go. So there is me, Sarah Greenoid. And then I have got my... Like, in real life, I have these cats. I will maybe try and get a picture. If Like, if you follow me on social media, you will have seen these cats. But I have two ragdoll cats, one called Lightning. It was actually named after Lightning McQueen. My son named him. We've had him for, like, years when Cars was a big deal back in the day. I mean, is it still a big deal? I don't know. But <laughs> this is Lightning. And then we have Sparky. This is our other cat that we have. They're so adorable. I'm really looking forward to playing with uh, with cats. Oh, actually, let me just tell you what they are. So Lightning. I got my son to sit with me and, like, pick. So, so I did myself, and then I got him to pick the traits of the cats and these are like actually what they are so that uh, lightning is lazy spoiled very he's extremely spoiled and talkative he meows all the time if you are a watcher of my videos it will be lightning who's you who you have heard probably like occasionally in the background he, like does this huge meow he sits by my feet when i'm recording and meows it's him that you will have heard and then we've got sparky who is fluffy extremely fluffy the fluffiest cat i've ever known very mischievous he's just quite um 
a bird this morning that was fun trying to save the bird from that uh, and also very playful so we've got sparky and then we've also got of course yeah. little steve greenoid <laughs> who he so steven has picked all of this my actual son has chosen the trait to be of silly and then he's chosen all the outfits as well for himself so he's got this everyday outfit i'm not going to look at what came with seasons because like we've already chosen these together so we've got uh, his everyday outfit his formal outfit his sleep outfit he was very impressed with this little sleep outfit that he could wear and then he's got his uh what's this party outfit his swimwear he wanted alien swimwear <laughs> and then he's got his hot weather clothes which i think is adorable and i like, he's not a toddler anymore he's old he's like a teenager he's I say he's old he's a teenager or just a teenager 13 and um yeah. i feel like he had an outfit like this when he was a toddler <laughs> and then he's got cold weather outfit which again is absolutely <laughs> adorable but that's that's our family that's who we are gonna be playing with here we go okay so we're probably not gonna get up to too much to be honest in this first episode because it's all about kind of introducing the family and i was gonna say i'm gonna be a house tour what season are we in we're in spring right wow i mean like i haven't got any comparison i don't know what brindleton bay actually looks like in any season but this is what it looks like in this season this is a nice little neighborhood i like it have we got like no leaves on the trees are they gonna like grow over spring possibly i don't know about that but um yeah this house that i'm using this was made by a fellow youtuber called simproved and i think it's an amazing it, it's it's just an amazing house let's take a it's like a little barn and oh no is the roof not worked properly maybe the roof's not worked properly i don't really know what's happened with that but she has got a tour of this house up on her channel i will link that down below if you want to go and check it out because it's such a beautiful house i am not a builder at all i have tried to be a builder in sims 4 before it's just not for me i'm just no good at it when you see people like other people's builds i'm like wow that's amazing um it's kind of gone wrong because what's gone wrong with this house i don't really know but let's we'll just go with it for now and kind of just see what happens i think there's quite a few bedrooms in this house that i don't actually probably need i've not even looked at this house yet to be honest i saw her tour on her channel i was like wow that that just looks amazing from the outside i haven't really seen it too much on the inside and we'll probably have to do a little bit of redecoration in terms of putting oh is this like prepared for fall I'm going to be saying fall. Like, I'm English. We call it autumn. I'm going to be calling it fall. Um, I don't know if it's, like, been prepared for fall. Maybe we need to put some, like, spring decorations in and things. Possibly. Um, but we'll see. It's a really nice house. Yeah, definitely go and check out her tour if you want to see this house shown off in far better than I'm going to show it off. But it's not sort of ready for us to move in it's just exactly how she made it so i need to probably do a little bit of like adaptation to make like a little toddler bedroom but i will do that in between episodes for now we'll just uh, we'll just go ahead with it so let's take a look let's just actually just run the game we've got it on pause at the moment in the back here or it's like at the front this doesn't make sense how the house is maybe i need to i will figure it out and like twist this house if possible so it makes more sense but let's yeah. just take a little look this oh our little family it's so sweet acquired the movement skill toddlers who focus on movement really get around okay this is adorable a bit lightning when we were creating it was so funny we were creating the cat me and Stephen were sat the other night just creating the um the cats and creating him and let's uh, let's do some teach to talk let's teach him to talk we were sat creating like the sims and the cats and things and <laughs> lightning came and like sat in front of the computer and was staring at this other cat uh, that we were creating this sim version of himself it was so funny uh let's talk about day so we have got okay let's take a little look we've got like a um, okay we need to check this out how do we bring up the calendar you're gonna have to probably bear with me oh here look calendar you have to bear with me because i don't know what's going on with any of this stuff particularly but we've got i think does it last seven days spring is going to last seven days 
yeah and then we've got summer obviously then autumn and these are our holidays that we're having and we can add holidays add events so like so, so tomorrow like we can add a holiday <gasps> oh my goodness okay i really do need to like look into this this is amazing trick or treat so i could add like my birthday party or no because this is a holiday so hang on so we can add can we add yeah so we we could add like birthday parties and things to specific days which is a really useful feature but also any sort of holidays that we wanted to add <gasps> because we have um bonfire night which is a very english holiday um in the uk if you didn't know um so i can add bonfire night and also like so what have we got what's this holiday love day we could add we've got harvest fest we've got new year and we've got winter fest so we should add like okay let's go wednesday let's do easter because we celebrate easter at this place and so we'll do an egg hunt <gasps> yes okay holiday name is going to be easter and decoration theme hmm we'll do a spring theme day off work and school so we can choose to have a day off work in school exterior building decorations can be customized search for the i've seen this in a twitter somebody posted on twitter that i or i've seen something about these decoration boxes i need to get these decoration boxes so let's do so we can choose so let's have these are traditions so we're going to have an egg hunt on this day so what else do we have at easter we have an egg hunt we, we can go streaking maybe maybe that's not child appropriate um polar bear plunge wow these look so amazing maybe we just do an egg hunt oh flower bunny let's do a flower bunny that would be nice if at easter we have an egg hunt and a flower bunny that sounds good to me let's uh, let's go with that and so that is just added to our calendar and then when it gets to wednesday we're gonna have easter let's go into build mode and try and find these attic things that we need um what was it decoration boxes attic decoration box these when the holiday decorations need to come down until next year this is where they go like i've seen that you can get them out so let's let's place these down i don't know whether there is actually some in the house already but um <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna place them down and maybe we should put them up in the attic maybe that makes sense or at least upstairs can we get upstairs i don't even know let's i mean we can just place them with a different version oh presents Where can we put these? I mean, I could just put them. Ah! Do you know what I need to do? I need to learn how to blooming control the Sims. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to use that. Let's just place them there for now. Let's just plonk them down. That's fine. And also, we have this thermostat that's come with um with the seasons that I'm gonna place. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's in the house. Maybe I should look around the house first. But I'm gonna place this in. Is there a wall? anywhere that i can place this it doesn't look to be like there is ah where can i go okay here i can place it here let's just place that down and then like, we can change the temperature like if it's cold outside we can put the heating up inside i think i think that's how it works i'm not sure you know i'm, I'm a new at sims for <laughs> i've no idea what i am doing let's check out there's like a little greenhouse down at the bottom what's this gourmet fruitcake oh it's vegetarian safe oh that's good to know <gasps> no go away i thought that sparky sparky's gonna eat it don't eat it sparky oh look there's already okay i didn't need to rummage for spring decorations let's just go and rummage for some spring decorations i didn't need to place them i should have looked around the house first off i can go and delete them yeah oh look it's decorated for like christmas season i think it's got like a little um thing there so let's say i want to what happens when we rummage does anything happen select everyday decorations uh why 
rummage for spring decorations but then what what happens once we've rummaged for spring decorations oh we can't get in why can't we get in is there no i don't understand there's no door I don't, I don't know why we can't get in. I'm, I'm like I say, I'm not a. I've not played this game in years, and also, I'm not very good at it. So, <laughs> to be honest, so let's um, let's try it again. We've just placed it outside. Let's see if this works now. I'm not. I don't know why we can't get in there. We'll have to figure it out. Huh. Let's have a little look. What can we find? Ooh! Oh, look at little yeah. Steve playing with lightning. <laughs> Oh. oh, what have we got? They don't look very stingy to me. I mean, okay. Little but oh, I suppose. Little, little little butterfly. Fair enough. Can we find some more? Let's just have a little rummage for some more. See if we've got any any different ones. Oh, did we get this plant as well? I think maybe we got this plant. Can we then move these around in um in build mode? We can then Ooh! We're gonna put that up. No. Oh, look. Steven's come out to play with his little... Oh. <laughs> yes, I like this little butterfly. Oh, what's this? Okay, we, this is cool that you get our little decor decorations. Let's see. This is um, flowers. We haven't got any flowers. Oh. <gasps> We've just dropped and done some sit-ups. Fair enough. Right. Let's just go and... Uh, I want to know if I can get inside this place. Let's just go here can we get inside was it just something to do with the boxes it was just something to do with the boxes we couldn't go inside there for whatever reason no idea no idea why that is right i'm gonna end this here because i need to get some stuff sorted with the house it's not sort of perfect i'm gonna try and see if i can spin it around and see what i can do steve is loving life with that little thing there he is happy as anything playing with that little butterfly but thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for a new sims 4 series i can't wait to see all the different seasons and how they all sort of affect the gameplay and stuff i'm very very excited for it so thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye